general trade versus modern trade. This is another very important concept that we want to understand when we are dealing with various FMCG distribution channels. In short, general trade and modern trade defines how the last mile delivery channel that is the retail outlet is categorized based on few characteristics. We will discuss on those things. Let's start with what is general trade is all about. It is generally referred to as all the sales that are carried out by local stores to cater to the needs of end consumers in the nearby neighborhood. Uh, something like the small kirana stores, corner shops, mom and pop stores, tea shops, or platform shops and so on. In Indian economy, these retail outlets are categorized as unorganized retail since these retail outlets are not duly registered with a DIN number like the director identification number and they may not be able to track the revenue of those shops. Subsequently, they may not end up paying income taxes as well. It is a very very common practice in rural places, urban areas and neighborhoods as well. The interesting fact is, this so-called unorganized retail in India covers almost 80% of total FMCG sales in the Indian market. That's something to ponder upon. Next, on the other side, we have modern trade or so-called organized retail chains. These are generally referred to self-service shops that offers a wide variety of products with a vast area like your supermarkets, hypermarkets, brand outlets, or franchisee outlets, etc. In global, we have brands such as uh, Walmart, Target, Costco, Best Buy, to name a few. In India, some of the brands I can recall are Big Bazaar, Dmart, Lulu Supermarket, uh, Spencer's Retail, Reliance Fresh, More Retail, Star Bazaar, and so on. Right? Uh, these kind of retail chains are mostly found in urban areas for now, but they are also fast growing and expanding the coverage in the rural regions as well as we speak. Also, in these kind of stores, uh, products may be sold at a relatively less price since multiple SKUs are bundled together and sold at a very high volume. The interesting fact here is, however, these retail outlets provide products in a relatively less price when compared to general trade, modern trade accounts for only 15-20% to 20 of the total FMCG sales in the Indian market context. The main reason is due to their reachability, right? So we may not find uh, any, I mean, at least many supermarkets are hypermarkets in all the streets rather than we find a Kirana stores in almost all the streets, right? Also, as we saw in the introduction to FMCG session, the low cost of products and frequent purchase characteristics of FMCG products add more positives to Kirana stores than the hypermarkets of the world. 